Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about that thumbnail that you guys clicked to get into this video. Uh, those two pictures were taken with the same phone at the same time, about four seconds apart actually. Uh, and what the main benefit of this is, this is using Night Sight. That's that new feature that Google announced at the same time as the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. Now, it's not officially out, so we're previewing it, so you'll get a chance to play with it, to check it out, see how cool it is, and how much better your pictures at night, or at least in really low light situations, will look. This is TK. I'm gonna walk you through on how to get this installed, also how to enjoy it on your device today. The first thing I want to mention to you guys is uh, I don't have the original Pixel, so I still have the Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel 3 XL. So I know at least 100% that it works on both of these devices. Uh, the application itself is a modded version of the existing camera app for the Pixel 3. And the reason I say this is the feature wasn't supposed to come out till next month, but the latest build of the camera app does include the mode, just not activated. Now, I'll give you guys a link in the description below to the article that was posted on the XDA portal by Michelle, and that article explains to you how we're able to get this feature running now. The only thing I want to mention to you guys is we are not modifying your system, we are not rooting your system, we are not doing anything of that effect. All we're doing is we're installing a second camera app. So, this is my normal camera app on the Pixel 3. You know, the way I explain it to you is because I don't actually have a night sight mode here. I have video, camera, portrait, and panorama. I'll go home. The other app that we installed is called the Camera P3. So if I clicked on this one, for all intents and purposes, it looks the same, all the same functionalities, the buttons. Now you'll notice right there it says it's too dark, by, uh, sorry, it's dark, try night mode. Interesting. So if I click on the more option now, I actually have a button here called night. That's night sight, and that's been activated in this application. So the cool thing about this is I can actually check this out, use it with a separate camera app without affecting any updates or any new push updates that we get directly from Google. And the main benefit, of course, is that I can actually install this on the Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 2, Pixel XL, and then Pixel. All these devices will support it. Now, performance is going to go different between devices, and I'll show you guys at least how it looks like between these two. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, you do need to have that application, so we'll go ahead and open it up. I'm going to select night mode. Now, typically, this requires you to be obviously in a low light, dim light situation. Uh, you find your subject, you click on it, you highlight it, and then you click the image. It's going to say hold still, and then it's going to take an image. Obviously, this is not the perfect example. There's too much light here. This doesn't make sense. But what I wanted to show you guys is once it goes into your gallery, specifically the Google Photos app, you'll notice that little moon uh, logo on it. That tells you that you took a night shot mode with it, or a night shot, or night sight. I keep wanting to say night shot. So let's go through the examples of the pictures I took and we'll be able to see what they look like. I had the Pixel 2 XL with me at the launch event and I took a couple of pictures here. This is just how they compared it to the 10s as well as the Pixel 3, how much more light it's able to bring in. Uh, now, the reason why I want to show this to you guys is because I actually took a few shots with the Pixel 2 XL as well as the Pixel 3 XL. So here's my gallery and the reason why the gallery is not, not syncing is I turned off Wi-Fi here because I don't want it to sync and overlap the images. Uh, but you'll notice obviously that some of these images are actually I have showed here because I've taken the same images twice. Uh, first one I'm going to show you guys real quick is uh, this one. This is a uh, the Pixel stand that came out at the same time as the Pixel 3 XL and the Pixel 3. Uh, but this image is how it would look like if you just used HDR. Normal picture, it's low light, there is light coming in, and it's gonna look better when you have night sight on. And you can see here, it's much clearer, you can actually see the definition in the stand, the name, the definition in the box, uh, where if we go back one more and go back here, it, you can see the uh, the colors, but everything is kind of very, very grainy and very, very light and dark. The real, real big hero about this is I started going outside and taking outside shots. Again, low light, this is not dark, this is low light, there was still light coming in, but night sight made it look like it was literally the middle of the day. Uh, same shot, four seconds apart. Uh, same thing with the backyard, this is kind of like a little bit dim, you notice it's not that dark, but then with night sight, it literally looks like it was daylight. It compensates not only for light, but also for the color temperature that it would look like if there was enough light in there. And as you're taking the shot, it actually does say bringing in more light or capturing more light. Uh, the one that really just stands out the best to me is where I was had my son stand in the backyard because I figured why not have something to have a very strong contrast to it. And this is what he looks like just standing there. And if I just do night sight, I mean, even my wife thinks this picture was taken during the day and I'm trying to cheat her. And I tried explaining to her that no, four seconds apart, he did not move, he did not do anything. All I ended up doing is basically said, hold on, I said, son, stand, hold on, don't move. Take one picture, take the other. Uh, this was again same thing in the backyard it got a little bit darker even more and at this point it's not bad it, it kind of looks like this uh, this image almost at the, at the beginning but I mean we went from this dark 
to actually seeing what's in the backyard. That this this is just magic. The cool thing about this is that you're getting the chance to play with this feature ahead of when it's officially available through the app. Now at some point, hopefully next month, we should be able to see this just natively built into the camera app as they're starting to update the camera apps on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL and hopefully the original Pixel as well. So the UI overall will be basically harmonized between all three device styles, so the standard and the XL models. Uh, but the application itself, it just basically gives you access to that mode that's built into the current version of the app. Now, it's not compatible with anything outside of Pixel devices currently, although hopefully we'll see that very soon. Uh, it does require to be basically on a Pi device, so that's one other thing that you cannot install this on anything on Oreo. So there's a few limitations, but if you have a Pixel device, like I said, any of the current Pixel devices, Pixel, Pixel XL, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 3, and Pixel 3 XL, this will install and should give you really good night shots using the Night Sight mode from Google. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of Night Sight? If you have a Pixel device and how does this work for you? Uh, now again, you probably want to wait till it gets a little bit darker outside to use this mode. It does work indoors, but the true wow effect really does require you to be outside because basically it's when your eyes can't believe what your camera is able to generate at the same time as you're like looking out there and like this is not here. So like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.